Hello everyone and welcome to another video looking at World War One soldiers. Now this video is slightly different uh, to previous videos in that we are looking at two soldiers. John McCracken and James Templeton. Both of whom were shot at dawn on the same day and were part of the same regiment. Now John Furnest McCracken was born at Nine Hillside Place at Hillside Place, even Lower Ballysillam, in Belfast in Northern Ireland, on the 19th of September 1895, to John McCracken and Martha Hoy. His parents had married on the 25th of December 1886 at St Martin's Church in Antrim and had three children. It was his father's second marriage, his father's first wife having died. In 1901, the family were living at 3 Salisbury Terrace, Shankhill, County Antrim. His father worked as a flax dresser. By 1911, the family had moved to 66 Ligonal Street, uh, Ligonal Road, Shankhill, Antrim. John Jr. was working as a doffer in a mill. His father was still working as a flax dresser. Now James Templeton had been born at Tallytown, Ballyscullen, Tomb, Ballymena, on the 6th of January 1894 to William Templeton and Mary Ann McWilliams. His parents had married in Ballymena on the 23rd of September 1889 and went on to have five children. His father enlisted at Belfast on the 12th of March 1900, but was discharged after a year. All it says on his records is discharged on termination of his engagements. So as to the precise reason as to why he was discharged, it is not very clear. In 1901, James was living at 34 Mosswall Street, Shankill Antrim, and his father was working as a labourer. By 1911, James was living at 12 Enfield Street, Shankill, and worked as a mill doffer. His father was still working as a labourer at this time. It's quite possible that James and John were working at the same mill at this time. In September 1914, McCracken joined up, with Templeton joining up a month later. Both men travelled to England, arriving in France in 1915. They both had similar disciplinary records, with Templeton quickly developing a reputation for going absent, failing to turn up for parade two days after Christmas Day 1915, January 1916 and February 1916. McCracken had been absent from a parade been found with dirty ammunition and left a working party without permission. On February the 20th, 1916, the men were in a place called Bosat. Now, I'm not entirely sure if I've said that right. Uh, they were under attack from the Germans. Templeton went missing and McCracken fell ill and was taken, in, uh, taken to a field ambulance. He claimed to have hurt his back during a fall, but the M.O. couldn't find anything wrong and sent him back to the trench. Templeton had walked away from the front line and encountered Lance Corporal Holdsworth in a village six miles away. Holdsworth recognised Templeton as he was in his regiment. Templeton was arrested and detained overnight. McCracken was back at the front line at this point, however, was found to be missing at 8pm that night. Both soldiers were charged with desertion and court-martialed on the 27th of February 1916. Templeton had said he was sorry for what he had done. McCracken said he had only just come out of hospital and was sorry. However, their remorse had no effect. Both men were convicted of desertion and were sentenced to death by firing squad. 
Now McCracken's mother had died just before he had arrived in France and this may have contributed to his behaviour in the trenches. On March the 19th, 1916, both McCracken and Templeton were shot at dawn by a firing squad. There was actually a third man court-martialed for desertion with both McCracken and Templeton. His name was Albert Bethy. However, his death sentence was later suspended. I hope you've enjoyed this short video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in a future video.